Yo, what is up, Loud and Proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. We are just two full days away from the night that the giveaway starts for the Dooley and the Big Stinky. Now, guys, the giveaway does not happen that day like the truck's giving away that day. That's when it starts. So if you guys are new to the channel, it's not too late. The giveaway starts June 1st at midnight and goes till July 2nd. Every $20 you spend on the website will get you another entry. We're back here with the Dooley because, you know, the dually, we kind of had a little bit of a mishap right before I left out of town. I was planning on getting the truck started, doing a first drive after all the new parts and all that stuff, and I couldn't get the truck started. I tried and I tried and tried, couldn't get it running. No fuel, no fuel, no fuel. So I was like, dang it. This doesn't make any sense. Like, why is the truck not getting fuel? Let me tell you why. Well, why I think it's not getting fuel. You see that little booger right there? That little snotty nosed piece of crap? <laughs> see that little itty bitty part? Yeah, I didn't put that back in after removing it from the linkage to the shutoff for the fuel. So the shutoff solenoid lifts and drops, rotates around on the linkage down there. However, without that key in there, pretty much my fuel can't get turned on. If I can't get fuel turned on down there to let it flow through the pump, it's not going to allow fuel to flow down through here. So what I think it is, is all it is, is that little part. So what I'm going to do is get to getting that part put back in there, which is down below here. I think I can get to it all without having to really remove anything except for the fuel shutoff solenoid itself. If I can just swap that out, you can see where the linkage is down there, kind of the arm down there. Right there, the two little bolts. Right there, there, down at the base, there's one little 8 mil I have to take out and you'll see what I'm talking about. but. I think that's all it is, and then we can get to attempting to start this truck up and take it for a rip. The second one, dude. It's coming to life, boys. She's waking up. This might be the one. This might be the one that starts it up. I turned the truck off to tighten it down because I don't want to crack fuel on going and spraying me and cut through my skin or so crazy. That's some pressurized fuel. She's trying to get used to those new injectors though. Those new injectors, governor springs, valve springs, there's a lot of new to adjust to. Hopefully after this this line gets fixed, it'll start to run on all six cylinders. This should be the startup. This should be the startup. When I turn the key this time, it should be fired up and running good. Listen to a purr, boys. Okay, guys, we are in the dually. It is 90 freaking some odd degrees. Way too hot. I don't care if you guys are in Texas. You're like, oh, it's hotter in Texas. Still too hot for me. I don't care how hot it is somewhere else. It's too hot for me. Wait, this is like late July temperatures. 
N not even June yet. It's May, so for me, it's too hot. Besides Milton, we got the dually running, which is awesome. The idle is running a little bit higher. I don't know why, but the idle is running a little bit higher. It's running about 980 versus it normally ran about 880 maybe to 895 on the RPMs. We're gonna take this thing on the first drive on the road. It runs a little bit different. It idles a little a little bit different. Nothing crazy, but it, it sounds a tad different. Obviously when you put bigger injectors, bigger governor springs, heavier valve springs, stuff like that, delivery valves, all that stuff, it's gonna change the way it runs just a little bit. Not drastic, but just a little bit. So anyways, we're gonna get in, get on the road here. My brother's gonna get my reaction and see how much I notice difference about the truck. We're not gonna get crazy on it. Um, because we are still running a factory clutch. Um, I don't know if it's been replaced at some point to, you know, swapped it out with a, a new factory clutch at some point, given it's 204,000 miles. But nonetheless, I guarantee it's not a dual disc clutch in there, I wouldn't think. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get on the road and uh, see what I notice in terms of difference. Okay, so first thing I noticed, I, I don't know if it's just because it's freaking 90 some degrees out here and it's, it's freaking hot, um, but this thing rolls so much cool now so i don't know what changed other than obviously more fuel mods governor springs delivery valves injectors all that stuff but i don't know why it's rolling so much cool so i got to be mindful of the throttle um because this thing smokes a lot like a ton like i was barely throttling it down it was just dumping dumping smoke so i might have to take my afc housing out again i don't know if that's the only culprit but it's really smoky so i, I might have to take that out again and see if i can switch it up some but it's smoky it's way too smoky like right if I, like if I'm being conscious of it and I drive like I'm trying to get good fuel mileage and feather the throttle there's no smoke at all but if, as soon as I put my as soon as I start laying my foot into it let him see around back as soon as I start laying my foot into it but it freaking moves I mean it's smoky but this thing moves, so I might have to, I can mess with my AFC housing a little bit more um, to try to, you know, work out some of the small things, but this truck freaking moves, like. It smokes too much, it smokes, what do you, how, what do you think? How much more does it smoke? It's crazy. Like a lot. It's, it smokes too much, so I might, I, I honestly probably will get my AFC housing taken back out and, I thought I reduced it more, but it must not have reduced it enough. And I need to make sure I get out and take my smoke, my smoke screw that I adjusted a long time ago, and try to remove it, like move it all the way back to factory setting on the smoke screw, because um, that's ridiculous. Like I, I like rolling coal, rolling coal, but not that much. Not, not to where like you literally don't have to do anything, and the truck's just barreling smoke. That's a little bit excessive. I wanted to do a short acceleration, but this construction and the only short little span we had. Dang it. This thing moves so much, guys, though. Oh my gosh. If you're not looking at the tailpipe, the feel, the power, though, is much improved like it, it runs different like the set how does it sound like even the sound out the tailpipe it just sounds a little different but when you lay into this thing this thing is zooms man okay you want me to get a rear view um kind of get like a view of like both of us so we can see out the back window too seem fast like if you're in like a sports car but that's fast for this truck that was 75 I wasn't like I wasn't dogging on it either because I didn't want to like completely like I don't want to smoke that much but it moves like it's got plenty of throttle just like when we had done everything to nasty red you just feel the freaking difference and this thing just has so much play in the throttle now too it just goes hot as crap out here and that might have something to do with it too with the air that it's pulling pulling in hot air but um, I'm going to definitely tune my AFC housing down some too to see if that helps because I want this truck to run a lot cleaner for whoever wins it. 
because that'll also help it with fuel mileage and actual usable power and stuff like that versus compared to right now it's sm it's too smoky guys i'll say that it's too smoky but that's nothing i can't fix honestly but all that aside it moves it's fun to drive man is so smooth though you don't feel like you have to really hammer down to move the thing it just goes it just when you put it drop it into like fourth especially after going 30 35 you drop it into fourth and you just hammer it just it just flies it's awesome man I love that truck Actually, Dad's pulling up right now. Sweet. You know, it's funny. So my dad is known as like the guy out of every, all of our family. Everybody knows that is like gets the best mileage out of his tires, the best fuel mileage. Like he drives, he drives like, you know, he's on his last gallon of fuel everywhere he goes. Right. We were in Ohio, and of course there was just too many guys in the cab. He just couldn't help it. You know. And he's just like doing burnouts and full throttle everywhere. And it was, it was fun. It was crazy. But that that King Ranch can move. Notice how the dually's not in the barn. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Is it true that little things can make a big difference? Oh yeah. It's really true. It runs crazy, but it's a little smoky right now. A little too smoky. When you say crazy, usually when you say crazy when it comes to trucks, it's a crazy good. That's good. That's good. It was that real small key I showed you. It's all it needed. It was that little key to go in there for the, between the linkage and that little stud looking thing that came out of the pump. So it would grab and lock in and be able to turn the fuel on and off on the inside of the pump to where it would even deliver fuel up to the injectors in the fuel line. That's all it was. Such a tiny part and I was panicking a little bit. I was like, oh my gosh, the giveaway starts in a couple days and everybody's gonna be like, uh, dude, your dually doesn't even run now. Like what the heck, dude? And I was freaking out honestly I was like oh my gosh like I've never had anything go wrong with this truck never had anything go wrong on this truck really other than like in the winter the battery died once or twice somebody left a comment I don't re recall the dude's name but I had his comment pinned under the previous video if you guys want to say, see who it was he's like dude he's like if you've taken that linkage off he's like there's a real small metal key that usually falls out and some guys sometimes guys don't know it um, but if that's not in there it won't allow that that um, Stud, I just keep calling it a stud. I don't know the terminology for it. I don't really care, but anyways, it won't grab to be able to actually turn the fuel on and off inside the pump to get you fuel. So if you drop that somewhere or you forgot to put that back in, which a lot of guys do, your truck's not gonna start. And that will explain no fuel to the line. So all that aside, that's all it was. It's such a tiny part, but it's fixed. The truck's running good, running great. A little smoke of it, I'll take care of that soon. But yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Just feels really good to have that running. I have both trucks running perfectly. All good, and uh, hopefully now after we get we can get the turbo on that truck soon, we're gonna get some possibly injectors and big stinky and a couple of other small things, and then the truck giveaway starts in two days, guys. Midnight, June 1st at midnight. So Thursday night, when it goes from 11:59 to midnight, fr technically Friday morning, then giveaway goes live. All you have to do is go to the website. There'll be a link. I'll release a video that night, right around that time to where you go right to the website and every $20 you spend will get you entered to win either the Dually or the Big Stinky, the black truck. I don't know if you guys saw it in this video or not. I don't think I showed it in this video, but most of you guys know what truck that is. Um, the truck's gonna be built, running good, running cool, and the, there's gonna be one winner and he gets to pick, he or she gets to pick between the five-speed manual Dually Cummins, which is a 12 valve, or the single rear wheel axle automatic 12 valve Cummins as well. Both, both trucks have 204,000 miles on it. Um, it's a great opportunity, especially when somebody with such a few subscribers is hosting something like this. This is a huge opportunity for the, the OG subs, people that have been around, you know, people that want to get involved. Um, this is probably going to be your best shot at a giveaway because there's still people out there that don't think it's real. Oh, he's not really going to give away a truck. I'm not, I'm not going to enter in, but it's really happening. So if you're, if you get in, you're, you're lucky. Um, if you don't, you're missing out. But anyways, guys, the truck runs. Super excited. Lots more videos coming this week, coming this whole month. It's going to be packed, busy. Um, super, super excited though. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll let, drop some comments down in the comment section below what you guys think about the giveaway starting in just two days. The dually running, everything going good. It's, it's awesome. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below. Subscribe, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.
Thank you.